welcome back to my channel and very very good evening to us in this video and first of all uh, regarding Vodafone Adam, we discussed on morning today I said that uh, this 31,000 crores of fundraise oh what is 31,000 crores you asked me 25,000 plus 6,000 plus Vodafone Group ALC so this can't this is this is I mean this is the amount that we are looking around for Vodafone area but uh, what has surprised is that this news let me share with the rest okay Vodafone idea stock price was rallied on 30% per month we know so sources are saying that they are going to announce big round of uh, fundraising shortly now what we are trying to see here is that uh, yesterday I think Z business has updated the same thing today I think ETNM also saying, uh, saying the same thing but what I tried I mean I, I found out some new things that I didn't found somewhere Promoters are busy in talking with the investor for finalizing the binding term sheet. The total fund rate should be in the range of around 2 to 3 billion. So, which means around uh, 14,500 crores to, uh, if you call multiply that, it comes to around 21,000 crores or 22,000 crores or 25,000 crores. So, this is the total amount. Uh, it, in, it is in advanced stages of deal. The reason for the deal, deal uh, I mean, was taking time was due to complex, what is it, the tax issues. But uh, here is saying that. Uh, big chunk of investment will come from Vodafone Group PLC and we know that already because uh, 6000 crores of uh, infusion should be made by Vodafone Group PLC as per the terms of the agreement that has been signed due to the merger of Vodafone and Idea Cellular Limited to form Vodafone Idea Limited and other US uh, several US PE investors, private equity investors, stress asset investors also with family offices of global tech companies with an eye of future synergies so which means family business as trusted asset investors, global tech companies. So we know what are the global tech companies, fan stocks, okay, except Netflix, we can avoid that, okay. So SBI, I mean, here is another point. SBI is likely to be hitting the lenders of the set. And understand one thing due to this uh, AGM, right, uh, in which they increase their borrowing limit from some, some range to 1 lakh crore of limit. So, here we know we should know important point many people will start to argue right now that uh, Vodafone uh, idea is having a large amount of debt already if they are going to borrow so much of debt then the company balance should get, get affected but here is where people should think differently out of the major debts right what are the company having the major debt is nothing but the spectrum debt that need to pay to the government so basically you know What's in auction when you take a spectrum, right? You pay some initial amount and carry on the spectrum in your balance as a debt side, and you pay off that on the year end or when the valid is going to expire. I think this is what has been majorly carried in the balance sheet. So, how this is going to impact the share price is going to be very important. Already, the impact has been seen in the share price. Today, also, there was a bit of momentum when we asked, I mean, when we in midday when we posted a video about Vodafone idea. So, what we want to see right now is that how do this share is going to perform now? Because each and every time going up to 13 rupees and again coming down, right? It could not, I mean, it is not what to say, so called good momentum. We want a momentum which can withstand everything. We want the share to move out of this range. Gone are those days when Vodafone was standing in this range and uh, so called there is no, not momentum. And uh, after this, I mean, after the fundraise, the next thing what should they do is that they should make this company into a profitable one and understand one thing due to this uh, so called uh, network I mean network reframing done with the help of Nokia they are going to save around 8000 crores of funds okay per year so if you multiply the, if you divide by per quarter range it comes to around 2000 crores and 2000 crores of cost of expenses is been saved in one quarter then step by step the loss would come down and this fundraise is also going to hit this company into a greater greater distance and that is going to be a very very important point that we want to discuss later thing because this network I mean the network reforming thing right is going to be very 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 important because 2000 crores of expenditure being saved in a year or uh, per quarter is going to be very very important for Vodafone Adel Limited so recently with this news we, we are knowing one thing that SBI is going to I mean, hit this dead set and uh, which is very, very important now let us focus on one point now people will start to say target of 100 200 300 understand one thing the share is already having 2800 crore quantity of shares so which means we want the share to go 100 rupees the share price should reach the share market capital should reach almost 
two lakh eighty thousand crores, which is which is equal equivalent or nearing to so called Bharati Airtel Limited. So in order to go through that range, the company should lose mean or to say lessen its losses, increase its uh, ERPU. Understand what I want to say now. It's going to be a very very important point here. I believe with I mean, uh, before quarter three result itself, uh, this fund news will come. And uh, in the quarter result, there would be an improvement. I mean, although they may post losses, I believe there may be an improvement in the ARPU as well as there may be an improvement in the expenditure of less expenditure. And after that, right, I think on the March of April month, they all the telecom companies should increase their what is the so called uh, expenditure or so called recharge prices to a greater extent because the spectrum auction is coming. So they want to put the capital expenditure on the heads of the subscribers who are following the sim. So which means basically there are no way out rather than increasing the what is the so called ARPU or research space whatever we call. So which means from March month or June month the good days of telecom are going to come. So which means a period of around 4 or 5 months we need, we need to wait to know the real importance of Vodafone idea. So within that time uh, you know one thing I think December 2020 the greatest voice quality goes to Vodafone idea. So all the things are going good here. The only required thing from you is patience. Yes within that time the market could come down a lot or not. But we should hold on. I mean if you have the belief right you could hold on. And one more thing is that now how much fund they are going to raise they should raise using other means other than the equity because when they are going to dilute their equity stake right when, when they are going to dilute the equity stake the number of quantity of shares in the market even more increases so which creates a bit of panic in the market and the share price will not move into a greater extent but unless and until if they are going to allot in a premium valuation then okay if they are not going to allot in a premium valuation when the total shares are going to rise like a heavy then it's going to be a very difficult thing for the market to but it's a digested kind of uh, dilution of equity. So I believe that the company has taken into that consideration and the company should lessen their uh, major focus on dilution of equity and increase their borrowing level. Okay, let us hope that this company turns into profitability at least during this year end so that it could be a good year for this company, Vodafone Idea Limited. Thank you friends and see you in the video very soon.